It's done? Okay. Big Joe and Snooks Eaglin for the blues break this morning. I know what you're thinking. Was that a Christmas blues song? Was that a blues song about Christmas? Yes, it was. But you know what? It's like my mother always said, every day is Christmas, especially for schizophrenics. Uh, the blues break. Fantastic. Missed you last Friday. As you may know, I was out of town. Uh, as you also may know, I was in Chicago for the weekend. And as you may not know, my right big toe was significantly larger than my left. So much so that I had to get up a shoe size on my right foot and everybody called me lopsided McTubby toe in high school. <clears throat> so I was in Chicago. It was incredible. Um, absolutely gorgeous city. You know, if you ever get a chance to go, I definitely recommend it. We had great weather. Uh, and there's just so much to do there in such a condensed space, you know? Like, in just two days, I uh, drank too much. And, uh, huh. anyway, it doesn't matter because it's about the journey, right? Not the destination, you know? And that really is a, 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 a an age-old tale that always reigns true. I went with my dad on this trip, uh, and we got there the only way we knew how. A journey packed full of excitement, <laughs> adventure, and in the end, it really kicked our butts <laughs> and punched our faces and dragged us away. That's right, I'm talking about United Airlines. Now, I'm not new to flying, uh, but I certainly don't fly often. So every time I do, I sort of get a, a sum of a new experience, a, a bit here and there, right? But my dad, he he's a sales guy, real business type, so he flies all the time. Thus, he's got that uh, executive diamond overlord status, you know, whatever, with the airline. And on this trip, I learned that it doesn't really mean much. I mean, you, you fly a lot uh, with, with with an airline, but what it does mean was that we got to go into this sweet VIP lounge before our flight for drinks and snacks. Now, my dad was telling me about this. I had no idea this existed, but I was over the moon uh, with, with excitement about it. I'm so stoked to get in this room, I can't even tell you. Uh, maybe somebody famous will be there on layover, you know? Maybe they'll have butlers who, who bring you champagne and shine your shoes. Maybe they bring you a delicious three-course meal and give you a spa treatment on demand. I was so thrilled. So finally, we went through these frosted glass sliding doors and scanned our boarding passes, and I entered the lounge to be greeted by a sea of old white men who looked like their wives just left them that morning. <laughs> and, and everyone just looked miserable. I mean, it was kind of cool. That's what was especially sad about it. You know, there's like white leather chairs, there's an open bar, there's food, and no one was happy. Not a single person in the place was happy. Like, oh, I have to soar through the air again today. This sucks. Like, what? And look, I get if you, if, you have, if you fly a lot, right? Maybe you're on business. Uh, you probably hate it, right? You just want to be home, etc. But... Uh, to, in this lounge, I'm sure these were very successful people, achieved huge things in their careers, right? And that's where it got them? Is that what we have to look forward to? All the hard work and... Look, my friend, tune into The Juke, okay? It's the show that airs every Sunday right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight. It plays blues music, only blues music, and blues that reminds you... Quit your quit your job? Is that is that the moral? Was that where I was getting... With it. Vance Joy's up next. I got Lay It On Me. I'm Brock St. Clair. It's WMSV. This rush. Probably won't even put this one up. Casey Neistat. Whoa. This is dangerous. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs>